In the United States, there are over 112,000 people on the waiting list for organ transplants. And despite the countless campaigns, less than 20,000 people are signed up as an organ donor. So are over 90,000 people condemned to death? What if we've known a solution for over 350 years? Xenotransplantation. Xenotransplantation is the process of taking any non-human living genetic material and attempting to transplant it into a human's body. This idea has been around for some time, dating back to 1667, however only gained traction in the 20th century. Pigs are most commonly used for xenotransplants, as their physiology is approximately 84% the same as humans. To date, there have been no long-term successful xenotransplants. The most successful cases patient lived for only 9 months afterwards. An article published in late 2018 by the New York Times explains the current challenges and progressions in using pigs' organs for transplants. Titled, 20 Americans Die Every Day Waiting for Organs, Can Pigs Save Them? It shows the works of David Sash, Luhan Yang, and Joseph Tector in trying to find solutions to the problems that present themselves. Similar to how our body's immune system rejects different blood types, it also rejects the pig's organ if it has antigens that the body has antibodies for. In normal transplants, immunosuppressants are drugs commonly used to prevent the immune system from producing antibodies that attack the transplanted organ. One such antibody is alpha-13 transferase, or alpha-gal, and at some point in time, humans stopped producing it. However, it remained common in the environment and in animals, including in pigs. To combat it, our bodies started producing antibodies and are a huge is issue in the rejection of xenotransplanted organs. Using cloning methods, SAC was able to insert a mutation into the genetics of specialized inbred pigs, eliminating the alpha-gal enzyme. Trials where primates received transplants showed that survival time had increased from minutes to weeks. However, Weeks was not a satisfactory result. Currently, researchers are hoping to completely eliminate the need for immunosuppressant by adding stem cell and bone marrow grafts from the recipient to the donor. The method has been shown to have a high success rate in humans, awakening new hope for xenotransplantation. Another issue facing xenotransplantation is disease. Viruses in the donor's body could be introduced through the recipient into the wider population. Porcine endogenous retrovirus, or PERVs, has been previously detected through the pig's genome and posed a huge issue to the safety of future xenotransplants. In 2015, Lu Hanyang and her team successfully used the genome editing tool CRISPR-Cas9 to remove all 62 copies of the PERV gene in pig cells growing in labs. Soon after, pigs completely free of PERVs were born. The technology also allows the editing of pig's organs' genes to make them more like humans, hence reducing the risk of rejection by the immune system. If scientists are able to discover a safe way to achieve consistently long-term successful xenotransplantation methods, it could greatly decrease the mortality rate of many people, as most if not all recipients would be people in desperate need of an organ donor. According to Organ Donor, the official United States government website concerning organ donations, there are over 112,000 people who are on the waiting list for an organ transplant with approximately one person added onto said list every 10 minutes. And since only 60% of the United States population have signed up to be a donor, an estimated 20 people die each day while waiting for an organ donor. This graph shows the large increase in the need for organs since 1991. As shown, the waiting list of people requiring an organ transplant has increased by almost 400% to 112,000, whereas the number of donors sits at below 20,000. As a result, there is much benefit in successful xenotransplantation, as it would achieve a much smaller waiting list causing less deaths to occur. In Australia, however, statistics look a lot better. According to the Australian Government Organ and Tissue Authority, there are only 1,700 Australians on the organ transplant waiting list, with 12,000 on dialysis. 62% of the population have also signed up as an organ donor, meaning that since 2009, 
the number of organs donated far exceed the number needed. As a result, as of 2019, over 13,000 lives have been saved since 2009. However, there are many issues raised by the concept of xenotransplantation. To many, this may not be ethical as the killing of pigs for their organs is immoral and a violation of the ethical framework of animal ethics. This is where animal ethic corporations such as PETA come in, who argue against xenotransplantation. An argue written on PETA Prime states that due to the current demand for organs, if xenotransplantation were to occur to provide for all patients, the organs would need to be factory farmed, which are cesspools of infectious agents, contaminants, and superbugs. If these were to infect the recipient, not only would it increase the chance of death, but also, if released to the public, could cause a pandemic. In order for xenotransplantation to occur, the recipient would have to give informed consent and would also have to be able to understand the risks involved like infection and possibly death. However, this poses problems as psychological and emotional stability would have to be taken into consideration. According to an article on the New York University School of Medicine's website, the desperate nature of the period when one is in need of an organ also makes questionable the emotional stability and therefore capacity of the patient to make the decision. In addition to this, the moral quandaries involved may also cause dilemma, as xenotransplantation may question someone's opinion of the concept of enduring self. If they weren't 100% human, would they still be a person? This opens the door to a wide range of mental illnesses like anxiety disorders. Xenotransplantation would also be an extremely expensive procedure, as it costs $50,000 alone to just test an animal for viruses. Not to mention, some of these will not even pass that stage, putting $50,000 to waste. The 1996 Institute of Medicine report estimate that if xenotransplantation were to occur regularly, it would raise the annual transplant costs from $3 billion to $20 billion. Currently in 2020, safe xenotransplantation of internal organs is not possible as there are still health risks involved. However, if this were to be perfected in the near future, it could save hundreds of thousands of lives. So it begs the question, when? When will humans be able to exploit the similarities between pigs and humans to utilize them as organ donors? Keep in mind the concept has been prominent since the 20th century, and only some progress has been made since then. So when will the option be released to the public? And if the procedure is so expensive, would it be worth the investment? A large payment could leave families in a large debt, especially in countries where there isn't free healthcare. And animals' organs may also have a shorter lifespan, which may mean the recipient would have to be constantly replacing it, hence raising the cost even more. Finally, would it be more effective to spend the time and money on the development of bioartificial organs, a concept which has shown much promise? <laughs>